Hello guys and welcome back to our channel. So after talking to hundreds of students that passed the FE exam, we've identified two common things that contributed to their success. And that's exactly what we're going to discuss today so that you can pass your FE exam in 2024. Now, if you want to pass your FE exam in 2024, go ahead and comment below FE 2024. And now let's dive in. Oh yeah, everybody now. First step, study resources. The right materials can make a huge difference in your preparation. So if you have the right study resources, you're going to succeed faster. Now, the first thing you need is to download the reference handbook. This is your go-to guide for the exam, as it's the only reference material that you'll have access to during the test. So make sure that you guys get familiar with its layout, content, and how to quickly find the equations and tables during the test. And also make sure that you guys are always using it when you are studying for the FE exam. Now, if you want to learn how to quickly find the equations on the reference handbook during the exam to save time, make sure to check out this video here. Next, you need material that covers topics that are on the specifications. So here I recommend that you guys spend a lot of time researching the right study material. This will save you a lot of time. Now, watch out for outdated resources and make sure this study material fits your schedule. So for example, let's say you work long hours and by the time you get home, you are really tired. So in this case, enrolling in a life course might not be a good fit for you because life courses usually are three hours long and they usually happen at night. So you might not learn as much. Or let's say you have a busy life, you work full time, you have a family and you don't have much time to study every day. So in this case, maybe look for a course that offers either lifetime access or offers more than three months access because you might need more time to prepare for the FE exam because you don't want to buy the course twice, right? Because I had a couple students who purchased the same course a couple times because they didn't have the time to go over it. So make sure that you guys pick the right study material that fits your schedule. Now, if you guys need help finding the right study material, there are two videos that I recommend that you guys watch. The first video, I talk about our courses. Now, check it out. See if it's a good fit for you. I would also recommend that you guys watch uh, the YouTube videos where I solve FE problems and just see if my teaching style resonates with you. Now, our courses offer lifetime access and updated study material and they have helped many students pass the FE exam. Currently, we offer FE civil and FE mechanical course and we are going to launch the FE other disciplines soon. So if you are interested in the FE other disciplines course, make sure to sign up here for any future updates. Now, the second video, I talk about study resources that are under $1,000. So check it out and see if there's any study material that is a good fit for you. Now, before you invest your money, really take the time to search for the right course. I have seen students spend $3,000 to $6,000 on a course that didn't really help them pass the FE exam. So don't rush this step. It is so important for your FE success. And of course, don't forget about practice exams. Regular practice exams are important for getting the timing down and for getting yourself familiar with the exam format. Now, if you guys want to know which practice exams to take, go ahead and comment below practice exams. Now, the second thing that helps students pass the FE exam is time management. So whether it's about planning your schedule or using time blocking techniques, Managing your time is important. Life gets busy with work, family, and other commitments, but during your FE exam prep, it's very important to dedicate at least one hour a day. Consistency is key here. And to get a better handle on time blocking and efficient scheduling, check out this video here. Now, staying committed and consistent in your studies will set you on the path to becoming EIT this year. So take a look at your schedule and figure out when you can study for your FE exam. So I had a student who would wake up at 4 a.m. to study for her FE because that was the only time she could do it and she passed her FE exam after six months. So that's it guys for today's video and I really hope that you guys pass your FE exam this year. Now, if you guys enjoyed this video, please don't forget to like and subscribe. And before you go, make sure to check out this playlist here where our students share their success stories on how they passed the FE exam and hopefully that can help you with your FE preparation. Now, thank you guys for watching. I hope you have a great week and I will see you guys on the next video. A la prochaine. Oh yeah, everybody now.